Hey guys, welcome to Manifesting Better. I'm back with another video and another topic that needs to be addressed. I also have an Instagram account. The link for that is in the description box below. Coaching is also available. The link for that too is in the description box below. So, in today's video, I will be talking about time. Time while manifesting. And I actually have already made a video on this, which is something I made before. But in this video, I will be talking about some things that I have learned over a period of time and some more tools that have came in my arsenal over a period of coaching a lot of more people than I had the last time when I made this video. By the end of this video, I will have a special tip for people who are manifesting a specific person because that tip will just apply in that area. So wait out, like watch the whole video and understand everything properly. And let's get into it. Firstly, I know there is already a lot of information on time about manifestation on YouTube already, where it is discussed highly about how time doesn't exist, about how quantum physics defines time, about parallel realities and everything. And although I support a lot of these theories and I already myself follow a lot of them. I don't want to talk about things like that here. In this video, I want to be taking a different approach where I talk about practical things on what to do and how you can actually manage the anxiety that comes up in relation to time while you are manifesting something that you want. First, you have to understand that from the time that you start manifesting what you want to the time that you get what you want, the journey might be very quick which means that it can happen instantly or the journey might take some time, which happens with a lot of people and that's fine. If it is taking a little bit of time, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing anything wrong. If it is taking time, that means that there are a lot of things, other things that are going on that also need to be addressed. Of course, there are some situations where you're absolutely going in the wrong direction and that needs to be taken care of. And once that is taken care of, things get better. But in many situations also, it is just that you are on the bridge of events to reaching where you need to be. So a lot of times while we are worried about time, it's not that we haven't been doing things right. It's just that we haven't received it yet. So if you are someone who considers themselves as someone who is working on themselves, who is focusing th on things correctly, don't get disheartened. Think about it in this way that it's not that your manifestation is not working. It's just that it might not be here yet. Now I will give you some tools and tips on what you can tell yourself when you are in this situation. The first thing to tell yourself and understand because this is very true is the time that it takes for you to receive you what you want is usually the time that it takes for you to become someone for whom the manifestation is natural to have. Let me explain. If I am manifesting a relationship, then the time that is taking in the middle is probably the time that is taking for me to become someone who can actually sustain that relationship, who can actually be thriving in that relationship, who can actually be happy in that relationship. How many times has it happened with you that you received something, but you weren't ready for it and eventually it went away. And now, later when you become the person that you want, when you receive that thing, you can actually sustain it and it turns into something long. There are a lot of things right now in your life that if you would have received two years ago, you wouldn't have been able to enjoy them. Just because you weren't the person who you needed to be in order for you to enjoy them. We just don't want our manifestations. We want to receive them in a in first in a respectful way where they come to us without us chasing and begging. Second thing that we want is that we want our manifestations to come to us and be there, present there for a while. We don't have to consistently keep working on it. We just want these manifestations to come to us and stay to us, stay with us for a while. Just like many things in your life already are. There are many things in your life already that you don't have to work on manifesting a, a lot of times or like consistently do techniques for because these things come in your life automatically. Because in your mind, they are natural to have. So consider the time that it is taking as time that it is taking for you to become someone for whom receiving that manifestation is easy and receiving that manifestation is effortless. Give yourself that time to allow yourself to feel bad if you do. That's completely fine. 
but understand that the process requires you to change as a person not just get your manifestations but change as a person secondly usually when we are worried about time what is happening is that in our lives we are living our life but there are a set of feelings that we are missing and honestly there are going to be some feelings that we cannot give ourselves and i will explain that as we proceed but when we are missing some feelings what happens is that unconsciously we are looking for that manifestation so much and we are looking for it so desperately because in our mind receiving that manifestation is the is a fix for us to receive these feelings maybe i'm looking for warmth and in my mind i have made a connection that the only way i can receive that warmth is if my manifestation comes that in itself puts that manifestation in a place in our life where it gets difficult to have because if the world is reflecting me as a mirror and i am someone who is right now lacking warmth and my way of thinking and getting warmth is the relationship then my physical world will reflect my lack of warmth which in turn will give me a lack of having that relationship in that time it's very important to give yourself these feelings as much as you can because there are going to be different ways see of course you cannot give yourself and this is the point i was talking about before of course you cannot give yourself these feelings to the same extent but what many people do is that let's say the relationship can make you feel warmth to the power 10 and right now you feel warmth to the power 2 you probably can feel 8 by yourself but in our minds we think that hey if i cannot get 10 by myself might as well stay at 2 but that's not the correct approach that is an approach that is not going to lead us into something fulfilling because we are not finding a permanent solution to it once we start giving these feelings to ourselves what starts to happen is that we are not lacking that thing anymore and because the physical world is reflecting us because the physical world is giving us what we are it starts to give these things to us in the terms of our manifestation the third thing that you can focus on here is understand that when you are asking for time what character are you actually playing because when someone is actually asking about time there is nothing wrong with it i'm not blaming you i'm just trying to help you understand that when someone is actually asking about time what they are basically saying in their minds and in the whole process is that i don't have it yet and if i am still playing the role of someone who doesn't have it yet i will keep manifesting not having it yet in these moments instead of trying to f- solve the problem of time a better way to go forward would be to tell yourself who would i be how would i be acting behaving thinking and perceiving this situation if i was someone who had what they wanted would i be worried about time or not you have to understand that once you start getting into a phase where you start to get into the feeling of having it where you have done these techniques and methods and you are able to provide these feelings to yourself to a great degree the importance of the manifestation and the importance of time gets very less that is when it becomes easy to manifest use the time that is coming in your life bit before you get what you want as time that you can improve yourself in there are many things that you can start getting into if you are manifesting a relationship maybe you can add hobbies in your daily life that you can only do now and by the time you will get into a relationship you will be already having these qualities and having these hobbies that you would want this time can be used as something productive for yourself now this last tip is for people who are manifesting a specific person and i promise that i will give a tip at the end so here it is if you are someone who is manifesting a specific person and is worried about time a very good way to shift your perspective and a very good perspective to shift into should be that hey if i am the one worried about time i am unconsciously automatically putting that person or that manifestation as something that is a prize in this situation but if i was the prize in this situation wouldn't my perspective be this that if that person wants to be with me then they have to show up and come to me in a manner which is respectful towards me which is healthy and which is sustainable otherwise why would i get into that situation and why would i give them the time of the day if i am the prize in this situation once i shift the perspective into being the prize in a particular situation 
my perspective will automatically drop from looking at time because i will not be so worried about getting that thing soon because i'm not worried of that thing leaving me because i know that that thing coming to me would be one of the best things that can happen to that person that person getting to be with me can be one of the best things that can happen to them once you start to consider this as a perspective things start to shift very much i will be looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video and yeah have a good day click the like button if you like the video subscribe and turn the notifications on for more such content comment down your video suggestions and i will see you guys in the next one